Hey, up, London. Good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borgen. This is going to be a quick recap of the Red Sox beating them Yankees 6-2 to in the wild card game last evening. That Nathan Evaldi did his job and pitched really good. And could he have went a little bit deeper, maybe, from Alex Cora? Maybe, but we've seen pitchers getting taken out early this evening. Um, Max Scherzer got taken out early in the game, obviously, last evening. Garrett Cole and then Nathan Evaldi might have got taken out a little bit earlier. Then he could have went longer, but guess what? The decision worked, and the bullpen pitched well in that particular ball game. The Yankees were, of course, only able to score two runs in this game, one off of a Rizzo home run and then one off of a salvage time home run uh, by Giancarlo Stanton there in the ninth inning. That was off of Garrett Whitlock, who pitched very good other than that one pitch that he gave up to um, Giancarlo there. And then a guy that I would say was the player of the game, obviously, in this game, starting it off early, is Xander Bogarts. He struggled a little bit to round out the season, as they talked about on the telecast. Then he comes in, like I said in different videos about the postseason. Once the postseason starts, your regular season says, no matter how good you were or how off you were that year, just get wiped away, and then you're restarting off, you're getting going. And uh, obviously, Bogarts is one of the best shortstops in baseball, and he showed that yesterday, jumping on a p pitch in the first inning off of a great pitcher in Garrett Cole, and then being obviously Kyle Schwarber then in the third inning, was able to get one off of Garrett Cole, and the Red Sox were able to put Garrett Cole out of the game early, which was very key in this game, obviously, as then the Yankees had to really just go to their bullpen and keep using their bullpen there, which was nice because the Red Sox were able to have very good success off of them, and particularly Alex Verdugo was able to have very good success off of them, as he was able to obviously double to drive in some runs, which made it 4-1, to run, four to one, and then he made it 6-1 to one on his seventh inning single, so I would say him and Alexander Bogarts were obviously the players of the game yesterday for the Red Sox offensively, and then when it comes to pitching-wise, it was definitely Nathan Evaldi. I said it in the preview video, and I think a bunch of people in the... um group on uh, Facebook, all the different groups, and it said that it seemed like it was a good decision to go with him, and it worked out. Four hits, five and one third innings pitch, no walks, uh, one earned run, and eight strikeouts. Definitely could have went a bit deeper, but everything worked out because Ryan Brazier pitched a good two-thirds of an inning. Tanner Hope, the great young pitcher that looks like he's going to have some key success in the future and already is having some key success. The secret weapon, as you say, maybe for this playoff, came in and had two strikeouts in an inning. Mm -hmm. Robles pitched good and Garrett Whitlock pitched good. So everything worked out successfully for the Red Sox bullpen-wise yesterday, which is not something you commonly say this year. And Nathan Evaldi did his job and did everything. He's been the stopper. He's been the very clutch and pivotal pitcher for the Red Sox this year since Sale was out for most of the year until he, of course, came back. And he showed that again, and he showed why he should have got the ball. And now, of course, Chris Sale is going to be getting the ball for the first game of this big series that is going to be against the Tampa Bay Rays that the Red Sox now move on to because they beat them damn Yankees. So it's great to see the Red Sox play great. Great to see Xander Bogarts snap out of a little funk he had to end the season and have a great game that night. Great to see um, Alex Verdugo, who's been a very nice player for this team. Obviously, he ain't no Mookie Betts, but he's a very nice player. Has that nice pizzazz to his game mm -hmm. on and off the field, too. That's fun to watch as well, and he's a successful player and a guy that was very successful with his double and single being able to add on to the leads there. And one of them was off of Luis Severino, too, for the double, who's a very damn good mm -hmm. pitcher, obviously, just has been banged up this year, but came back for the Yankees. He was their guy that might have been the mixing guy in out of the bullpen for them, just like Hope could be for us Sox fans here just because he was obviously coming in off of an injury, but then Verdugo was able to jump on him. So that was nice to see. It was nice to see the Red Sox be able to get their offense turning, too, to get six runs, have very successful pitching for both ends because you're going to need that against the Tampa Bay Rays, of which I will be doing a preview video for tomorrow. And actually, I misspoke. I, I actually, I'm, I apologize. It is Eduardo Rodriguez and Shane McGlanahan in Game 1. I would assume Chris Sale would then go the next game. I, I misspoke. It is Eduardo for the game one slated on MLB.com right now. I apologize about that, but I will do a preview for that tomorrow. This has been the recap of the wild card game. What a great game by the Red Sox as a whole. And then the players of the game, of course, as I said before, Xander Bogarts, Alex Verdugo, and Nathan Evoldi for pitching a great game and do I think he could have went deeper yes but everything worked the bullpen pitched well everybody did their job yesterday and that's what you want to see going into play this really tough Rays team that has all the pitching in the world not as consistent always offensively obviously as a, as a Sox team if we mm -hmm. can get these six runs consistently but 
they do have that very good pitching, so it was nice to see the pitching of the Sox step up. Everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant night. If you enjoy the content, please like, comment, and subscribe down below or on this widget at the top. It's really cool. Please have a safe night. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the MLB playoffs. The Sox are now in in a series against the Tampa Bay Rays. It ain't going to be easy, but it's not supposed to be easy in the playoffs. I'll be doing a preview on that tomorrow, as I said. Peace out, everybody.